The Lord be with you. I'm Pastor Luther, serving Incarnation and Shepherd of Life Lutheran Churches, and this is at the close of the day. Our Bible reading for tonight comes to us from the book of Acts, reading from the fourth chapter, the 31st verse, and I'm reading from the Message Translation. While they were praying, the place where they were meeting trembled and shook. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak God's word with fearless confidence. Last night, and I'm recording this at a different time, of course, but it would be some nights before this, uh, I experienced an earthquake. I was walking from one room to the next, and all of a sudden there was a thud, and I knew what it was because I'd experienced it before. It is somehow a matter of regret to me that I don't experience God's incoming into my life in quite that shocking a way as did the early disciples, but it is encouraging to me that I have their witness yet to this day So this night, brothers and sisters, I encourage you to trust the witness of Scripture. Trust the witness that has lasted so very long that God has come into the world and God's Spirit is in the world and God's Spirit is in you. And let that Spirit ring forth not only in the days to come, but forevermore that you love and trust God. Let's pray together now the prayer that Jesus teaches us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.